back to the theater again after a few days break but we had sort of the real premiere a few days ago with audience One with a show. audience that were laughing and applauding and it was wonderful after a year with covid it was so such a relief to have an audience it's really sunny maybe i should get some sunglasses but sunglasses is something i lose all the time i never lose my keys or my wallet or something which is good but sunglasses and gloves they are lost I don't really get nervous before a show. Not when it's rehearsed or when it's not rehearsed. When you just go up on the stage, say a key and a tempo and just go with the flow, I don't get nervous. But I can get nervous when it's somewhere in the middle. When I know what I'm supposed to do, but I have to concentrate 100% to be able to do it. And I have to depend on others to do the same. That can be a bit nervous. I guess. But do you get nervous? Usually I don't, but it happens sometimes. No, yes, sometimes. Even after all these years of performing live, countless of gigs, I still do get nervous sometimes. So the answer is yes. Sometimes. Yes. I would say that I always get very concentrated before a show or a concert. I do get nervous, but mostly I feel the excitement and I just love it. A little bit, yeah. It helps me to focus and concentrate. Um, yeah, yes I do. Not that much though, depends on what my uh, role is. Yes, absolutely I do. It depends on a lot of things. Um, it's hard to say because it doesn't really matter to me if I'm playing on a large scene, like it's like a big venue, or if it's very intimate and small, it doesn't really matter. I think it's more about the musical performance. That's what, that's what kind of can be worrying for me. Why do you get nervous? Oh, because I... I guess it's psychological that uh, I think that people will judge me and uh, haunt me. I think it's part of the thrill. I love it. I'm... I think I'm addicted to it. If I'm not nervous, then something's wrong. If I'm not prepared enough, or if I am sick or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure if I can like do it well. Once you get to a certain level of whatever you do, you start being able to hear what you do and you hear how others do it. And it's easy to slide into this thing called the imposter syndrome where you start feeling that you suck at everything. You're an imposter and everybody's about to find out. As soon as I start playing my piano piece, everybody in the, in the audience is gonna realize that I'm a total hack. <laughs> and that, that can lead to a certain amount of anxiety and nervousness. Uh, but then again, I think in that situation, it's important to be able to take a step back. Cause I wanna do my best at every show I do. You can get nervous about all kinds of stuff, I think. Um, about how your voice is gonna be and how the words are gonna come out right. But also that, will I be able to give the audience what they really long for? That's my wish, always. So maybe that's the most, uh, the biggest worry. 
but it's also a um, challenge to do your very best. I don't really know why. Uh, I don't know really, but it's it's an asset. I suppose it almost always comes with uh, high expectations and accomplishment of what you're about to perform. And in 99.9%, mostly it comes from yourself, of course. But it also got to do with uh, the situation, the circumstances, vibes from the audience. It can be for many different reasons. Sometimes you just don't know why. There's no business Like show business There's no business at all Everything about it is appealing Everything the traffic will love Could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra power? There's just no business I show, business I call, business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. My procedure of getting ready for a gig without getting nervous is to be alone, just for a minute. One minute is enough. I just need to think through what I'm gonna do on stage and just land in the body and mind that now it's showtime. Often it is when I'm changing my clothes like now. And I changed my clothes in the last minute, not last minute, but maybe 10, 15 minutes before the gig. I don't want to do it too early because changing the clothes to the clothes I have to wear on the show is now it's show time. Now I have to get ready. And it's stuck in my mind that it is that way. So how do you prepare for a gig? How do you deal with getting nervous if you do get nervous? I, I think being able to assess your own ability as honestly as possible and see what you actually do well and what you need to improve is a great way to handle anxiety and stress and nervousness because if I know what I can do, well, that's going to make it easier for me to do it. If I start doubting my technical abilities or start doubting my ears or whatever, Perhaps I'll plant a seed of doubt that's going to make me stiffen up a bit and play a little bit worse than I could have played it. So um, I think it's important to be able to change your focus. If I get nervous about a performance, I try to focus on the fact that I probably know the stuff I'm going to play. At, at least, I mean, you, sometimes you just get a call and do a quick gig with a band and you haven't prepared anything at all. Of course you're gonna make mistakes but then again I mean who, who's to blame you it happens if I prepared and I'm doing a gig, a gig where I'm supposed to know my stuff I try to keep my eyes on the price which is the music because it's not really about me I'm not the product the music is if I play the song as well as I can possibly play it it's gonna turn out fine and if I make a mistake along the way well so be it if you're in a studio situation and you make a mistake, it can be fixed, you can repair, you can erase, you can do a new take, whatever, it can be worked out. 
if you do a live gig of some kind, you make a mistake, well, it's gonna happen. And um, as, soon as, as soon as you've made the mistake, it's already in past tense, it's gone. Uh, well, of course, it's nowadays it's gonna be on YouTube and you're gonna have to hear this mistake forever and ever. But then again, it doesn't really matter because the mistake isn't the point of it. The point is just carrying on the music. So um, I think in my case, anxiety and nervousness can appear, but I try to focus on the core value, which is the music and playing it well, I'm trying to do right for the song and the performer or whatever. And um, that works pretty well for me, this far at least. My way of dealing with it is to take a deep breath, like this. <sighs> or two, or three, or four, or five, like. Uh, and um, this deep breath, I also noticed that a deep breath makes me focused and uh, I think a better singer. Breathe. I think. And uh, try not to think about it, just walk into stage and take every moment at a time and breathe. Calm down and get down in breathing and situation and think Could that uh, no I know this I know this so that's also a thing that I make sure that I'm really sure in what I'm doing on stage what I'm supposed to do so I'm not like ah, ah, ah. and then I feel okay I know this and then I don't need to get nervous first of all I would say be well prepared practice practice repeat that over and over again until you can do it without thinking until you can do it in your sleep. Then a good thing is to take your time when you do sound check until you feel comfortable, if possible, of course. Before a show, I do meditation, mindfulness, etc. That helps me to, to, to be focused. And don't give a darn about what others thinking. I would say breathing is absolutely fantastic. It helps you to calm down and to lower your heartbeat and make you think clearer. And so, so breathing is really important. And it also gives you the time to to think about the words and the lyrics and the performance you you are about to make. So breathe. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for answering my questions. Now I want to know, do you get nervous? And in what situations do you get nervous? Is it before a show or other situations? And how do you deal with that nervousness? Please leave that in the comments. Also subscribe, like, you know the drill by now. The Swedish word of today is nervous. In Swedish it's nervös. Nervös. Until next time, Roger that. Thank you, Roger, for the invitation and have a nice day. Bye bye. So, Roger, uh, thanks again for reaching out to me and um, all the best. See you soon. See, that sounds good, but it's actually quite easy. Perfect, perfect. Love that stuff. Love it. <laughs>